Hello, I'm Atuba Judd. Now, we've been looking at the book of First Corinthians. Ah, so much, so much. We're still in chapter 1 and today is day 4. <laughs> Lord will help us. Anyway, let, let's just go in verse 23 now. For, but we preach Christ crucified. That's what we preach. We preach Christ crucified. I want you to understand something. What does it mean we preach Christ crucified? He means the sum of our message is this. Jesus died for you. Hallelujah. He was crucified on the cross for you. Now you want to now know why. <laughs> now that's what we spend our whole life talking about. Why? Why did Jesus die for me? See. So because he, he, he died so I shouldn't be sick. He died so I shouldn't die. Oh, my little body. Yes. You know, Hebrews, Hebrews tells us that he tasted death for every man. Ah, you know, one day, can I freely talk to you? You know, one day the Lord said to me, and I was looking at that scripture, I was meditating on it. And then the Lord said to me, when, when Christ, when Jesus tasted death, did he tell you it was sweet that you should go taste it too? I said, Lord, what are you saying? Oh, there are some things the Holy Spirit will tell you. You just wonder, how do we start? He says, that message to the Jews is a stumbling block because, I mean, the guy, Christ Jesus, who was supposed to come give us a sign, see him helpless on the cross. How? The one who says the champion of the world has been killed. So where's our hope? <laughs> you understand? Why is it a stumbling block? You know, you, 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 ah, ah, come on, come on, Jesus. You, you, I mean, you. I was thinking like that, you know. So. It's a stumbling block. To who? The Jews. And to the Greek, it's foolishness. I don't know. What's the wisdom that you want to share with me that the one who came to save us now died? So what's your wisdom? And it's a principle. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, let me explain this to you. What's the principle? If Jesus died and rose from the dead and he is alive even now, I want you to understand something that it's not just the fact that Jesus died. It's the fact that, listen, Jesus said something. This one thing I have received of my father, he gave me the power to lay down my life and he gave me the power to take it up again. Did you get that? Now, so Jesus said, no man takes it away from me. So no one killed Jesus, actually. He laid down his life. Now, that is the power of God. The power to lay down your life. And the power to take it up again. Now, I said it's a principle. What is it? In my finances, for example. Because Jesus died and rose again. Now I can believe God when God tells me to give and it shall be given unto me. Why? Because it's the same principle. When I give, I let it die. See? It's the same way I can believe God concerning my health. If I give up my life to Him, He will return my life to me. It's the wisdom of God. But the Greek cannot understand. They cannot comprehend. I'm trying to grow my business. And then I get to a certain level. So I need to grow it to a higher level. Okay, so what are you going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take all the profit I've made now and I'm going to sow it and give it out as a seed. By the command of the Lord. Ah, you're foolish. That's foolishness. You see? They don't understand how that works. And then they watch you. You give it out. And then you go doing what you're doing. And then suddenly, another mighty door opened they never imagined. Ah, oh, you're lucky. Man, you're lucky. Hey, no, I'm not lucky. Praise God. You remember what I did the other time. Uh, you, 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 can't, you can't connect the two things. That's the Grecians. See, they are looking. They, they, they want wisdom. They want connection in everything. 
but we preach the cross. We preach the cross. We preach Christ crucified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hmm. Woo, glory. Verse 24. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greek, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Everything Jesus tells you, everything the Holy Ghost ministers to you, that is the wisdom of God. Hmm. Hmm. Look at verse 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise after the flesh, not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. He, he is in the, if you want to call somebody to do some work, won't you go for the best? But that's not God's way. See, that's not God's way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I love this. Look at verse 27. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He confounds the wise. So when the wise, ah, labash kayada bragadia. Listen, the world is going to see wisdom from God. The ayakuta ya bradia. Even in this season. Ah, there's a new crop of believers rising up. And, and their sole job from God is to display and manifest His wisdom. And they are going to go against established rules and established principles. And they will begin to crush them down. Because the world is entering into a new phase of darkness. And I'm not talking just about coronavirus now. I'm talking about what you're going to see in the world now. The world is entering a new phase of darkness. Thank you, Jesus. And in this darkness, only those who carry the light of Christ will manifest and they will begin to shine their light. So let me tell you things. What's going to happen? Principles are going to fail. Businesses that have been established for years are going to crumble. Why? Because they just don't know what to do again. But hear me, there are people in this situation who will begin to rise. And they are going to rise with the wisdom of God. And they are going to manifest that glory in every place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the health sector. You see, in, in, in the area of research. Oh, I've been praying recently for everyone I know in the area of research that they will be functioning by the wisdom of God because God is supplying his wisdom, especially in such areas. Everyone who gives himself to thinking in this season will come forth with the wisdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Now I'm just telling you what the Lord is saying. Praise God. So, ah, ha, 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 ha. Mm. Verse 28, and base things of the world and things which are despised, God hath God chosen, yea, and the things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. Did you see that? Those, you know, they have despised you in your family. <laughs> you are their savior they don't know it but they are about to realize it that you are actually their savior you are God's gift to them to bring them salvation you are God's gift to them to bring them deliverance I'm telling you you know they've been saying to us concerning you you and that one is only church he knows okay fine but hear me hear me hear me that gospel that you believe in a wisdom is coming forth from it that will become the salvation of many men thank you lord Jesus. and i'm not just talking about preaching or praying salvation i'm talking about wisdom that will save a whole community yes the wisdom that will save a whole community is resting upon you right now you that have been put aside you're becoming their savior in the name of the lord jesus christ yeah, and base things <clears throat> of the world and things which are despised had God chosen. Yea, and the things which are not to bring to naught things which are. Verse, verse 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence. No flesh, no flesh, no flesh at all will glory in his presence. This is not the time to boast about your academic qualification. No, 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 no. And no, 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 put it aside. This is the time to look up to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and receive wisdom from him. 
because you see your MB, MBB, MBC, BBA, everything listed together is about to fail. You know why? All those things you learned were things where, where, where how men have controlled you to think like them. <clears throat> But now the Lord is separating each man according to his own wisdom. We're going to see this. Let me finish this quickly now. But of him, verse 30, are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. He says, why is God doing all these things? Hey, he just quoted Jeremiah. Paul just quoted Jeremiah. He says, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. And what, what's God saying? See, he's taking us to that point where you can't glory in your qualifications. You can't glory because you were the best in your class. You can't glory because you're the richest man in your streets. You can't glory because you are the wisest person. No, 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 no. He's taking us to the point where everyone who's going to speak up to glory will say, God did this for me. God took me to this thing. God revealed this to me. And that's what you're going to be seeing on the earth. I'm telling you the truth. Men are going to be speaking up and say, Jesus made me this. Jesus gave me. Everything is going to fail. Politics is failing. Economies are failing. I'm telling you the truth. It's failing. If you've not seen it yet, I, I, you, you, if you, you don't need to look. You don't need to even close your eyes to see this one. Things are failing. Why are they failing? Because God is confounding the wisdom of the world. That's exactly what's taking place. Because we're in the season of God's reign. Thank you, Jesus. We're in that season that the kingdoms of this world, they are all fast becoming the kingdom of his dear son. Why? Because we are here and we're reigning with him. Praise God. So I've got to stop here today because we're, we're looking, we're going into chapter 2 from tomorrow. Listen, I know these things have blessed you. What I've been sharing with you have really blessed your life. And I would really like to hear from you i want to know if you and, and if you have questions don't hesitate to send them in you know our email address and and uh, in every other platform is is on the screen if you're following and then subscribe to our youtube channel so that whenever and when when you subscribe put on the alarm so when um, the notification so that when we come up when we post the message you it will come up on you will see it and you will just connect immediately praise god wow you know reading this just blessed me so much i pray that the holy spirit will open your understanding grant you wisdom like never before in the name of jesus christ amen i'll see you tomorrow bye bye